okay. We're 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 good guys, don't worry. <laughs> Hello. Jump scare my time. I'm sorry. <laughs> we're so sorry for the delay, everybody. Hello everyone. Stuff stuff happens. That's part of life. Uh, yeah, happens. life life stuff. Life life is very scary, guys. Don't worry, we're good. Yeah, yeah. No, sure it is. <laughs> Hi everybody! Hey. Hi everyone! I'll, all right, Hello. I'll let you two uh, in, introduce the panel and, and everything, and I'll be in the audience. All right, thank you. Well, hello everybody! Welcome to the Q and A with Emmy, aka Stormy Hearts. You already probably know her from Twitter, maybe for Hi, her beautiful Sanami works. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> and also here with me co-hosting this beautiful panel we have andrew hello hello everybody <laughs> all righty so emmy you want to like introduce yourself and speak about yourself yeah i'll i'll try to best my ability so as i've been introduced <laughs> before hi i'm Amy or storming hearts wherever you follow me i'm mostly on twitter um, I am an artist and a writer. I know I don't show off my writing much, but I surprised I do write. Um, I'm really like a huge fan of um, Sonic, specifically like the 20s era of Sonic. Uh, I really, really also enjoy like the Japanese content of Sonic much. I don't talk about it a lot, but I really do. And um, I guess I like, I really like to draw like um, Son Amy. Um, I like to draw concepts or like what ifs ideas because like I always, like my brain is always running for some reason, sadly. And I guess that's it because I really can't think of um, much to say about myself. <laughs> but, yeah. Oh, well, that's, that's okay. Well, I personally love your work. So you have a huge fan yeah. right here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. So, Andrew, you want to ask the first question to Emmy? Uh, yes, uh, I do have a question. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, actually, I've got a few questions. Let me just pick one. Um, okay. Uh, who's your favorite character to draw? <laughs> it's pretty really obvious if you follow me, but uh, definitely Sonic and Amy. I like to draw these two a lot. Specifically, uh, because their designs are like really easy and I guess because they have them so memorized that it's like muscle memory now. But yeah, they're just really fun to draw. They're really therapeutic when I like find myself having like a hard day or something. I really like to um, draw these two specifically. At least I've been drawing Sonic more than I've been drawing Amy, which is sad because Amy's my favorite, but I've been coming up to Sonic a whole lot more too. I think they're like both my favorite equally now. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that's so Ooh. cute. Yeah, they're comfort characters of sorts. That's sp specifically me when it comes to Mario and Sonic. Anyways, <laughs> so for my question, this is a general mm -hmm. question. So yep. besides the Sonic franchises, do you like any other particular gaming franchises? Well, I'm not really that big of like on gaming, to be honest. I would say I'm a, sort of like a Mario fan, a Spider-Man fan, a Stardew fan. Mm -hmm. Let me think of any other game that I play. Yeah, pretty much these are like the ones I'm most prominent in. I don't, I know I don't talk about them a lot, but I really, really like like Mar like you could you could say I'm more of a Mario fan than I am a Spider Man fan, but I am trying to get into Mario a little bit and so on. I uh, welcome you with the upper arms in the Mario fandom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't you think yeah. Another. Uh, you could say like another franchise that I'm trying, but oh, like considering to get into, which is like um, Persona, uh, Street Fighter, kind of. But yeah, like if you were to ask me, I'd say that like um, since my second franchise is Mario, then it's Spider Man, and then it's like Stardew, and then the other ones I'm still considering to get into them. Ooh. Yeah, I, I'm personally trying to get into the Spider Man, uh, Spider Man fandom myself because I'm getting interested. Most of the time. So, yeah, I get you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Andrew, you want to ask another question for Emmy? Uh, yeah. So, I asked what your favorite character was. Who would you say is your least favorite character to draw? Like, who's the hardest? Mm -hmm. So, I wouldn't exactly say that I have, like, a least favorite character to draw. Because, like, lately I've been trying to branch out and draw as many characters I want to get over 
to pick, I would say um, definitely Infinite. Not because I hate the character or anything. In fact, I actually really love him. It's just the fact that his mask is really hard to draw because it's three-dimensional. Because I'm sorry if I were to ramble a bit about like the myth, the myth like the. Hold on, let me get my words. I'm sorry if I had to like ramble about like the design philosophy of him, but Sonic characters when they're made, they're like made to be easy to draw for children. So that's why you have like really easy shapes for them. Even like characters like um Big or Vector, like they seem hard at first, but once you break them down into simple shades, they're really easy to draw. That is also no exception to this rule. The only exception is his mask. It's his mask that like makes him like not as fun to draw. Because it's 3D. It's like it's a 3D model that you're trying to adapt into 2D and that makes it kinda hard to like break down into small shapes. So I'd say it's infinite that like I'm having trouble drawing mostly. Maybe too, but to be fair, it is also just a bunch of shapes. So, so I'm starting to get the hang of him lately. Mm. That's awesome. Ooh. Yeah. As for my question, that will be for me the last question for from my side. So can you tell us more about the tools that you use for your artwork? Okay. Like softwares and stuff? Mm-hmm. Okay. So for the longest time, I've been using like Paint Tool Side 2. And recently, I've gotten into Clip Studio Paint. I've been trying to move away from, uh, you know, uh, Psy 2 as much as I could. Because as, as comfortable as I am with this program, it is very limited and it's really manual. And that's like no hard feelings to the creator of Psy 2, of course. But Clip Studio Paint has like more resources and whatnot. So I'd say uh, I'm just trying to like move into a different program now. It's kind of the hang of it. I'm still just struggling with like the sketching process. But that's pretty much it. Um. I, like, I do use, like, a, a Lenovo uh, laptop, which is, a, like, a two-in-one laptop. It functions as both a laptop and uh, a drawing tablet of sorts. When you talk about the hardware, as for, like, other tools, like, um, references, I like to use Pinterest references. I like to ask my friends for references, like uh, Chinchilla over there, Hachi. Um, I also like to look at, like, my friends and mutuals as, like, for inspiration. For example, like, um, there's Luxar. Hi, Luxar. Um... <laughs> he he really like has like a lot of fluid move um, renders and stuff. So I really like to look at his stuff whenever I want like something that's like flexible and whatnot. And there's just like a few examples over here. But yeah, pretty much if I had to summarize it, I'm switching between Side Two and Clip Studio Paint. I use a two-in-one laptop, and I rely a lot of Pinterest uh, references. That's really cool. And personally, uh, myself, because I do use Paint to Sci as well. I'm trying to move from Psy to go to Clip and Studio as well because it's really amazing. It's a really great mm -hmm. program. Yeah. Yeah. If you'd yeah. like, um, if I were to like give you a little bit of advice, I'd say that um, it's honestly like the way it, that got me a little bit comfortable to use Clip Studio Paint over Paint Tool Size because um, you just gotta mess around a lot with like the brush settings. Eventually, you're just going to land on something that's going to be comfortable to draw. And once you find, like, that comfortable brush, you're going to find it a little easier to let go of Saint Tulsi. And just, like, don't let go of it right away. Just make sure it's a gradual process. You could just, like, start using Paint Tulsi less and less until you, like, you know, fully convert to Clip Studio Paint. That's what I'm doing, uh, at least. That's amazing. Thank you so much for that. For that of beautiful course. advice. All right. So, you want to add on... Ask another question, Andrew, or we can move to the audience. Um, I guess I can save mine for later. We'll start with the audience. All right. So let's start right away with Ooh, Kevin. Raise those hands. I see Kevin. <laughs> Come back hey. here, Kevin. <laughs> Yash. Hi, <Kobe>. Kevin. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Thanks. Welcome back. <laughs> Thanks. So, uh, my question to you, Emmy, is: What is one mm -hmm. thing you wish you could get in your country? Like, it could be like when it comes to China, like, it could be like the merchandise, the game, the comics, things like that. Like, what what's one thing you're not able to get, but you wish you could? I'd say the one thing I wish you could get is surprisingly, well, not not surprisingly, Sonic Sympathy, because Symphony might laugh. <laughs> I really like just want to be able to attend one of those because I see like videos of it all over the internet and I see like the hype and the fans and I'm like man I really want to be a part of that event but in my country there's not a lot of Sonic fans there is it's just like we're scattered around so you wouldn't find a lot of us 
So it was like, I understand the whole thing of uh, like why I wouldn't find it in my country because like they, they have like specific locations based on how many Sonic fans there are to make sure the event is successful. So I'm not all that mad about it. But I really wish Sonic Symphony was like in my country because I'd really love to attend. I hope you get the opportunity to attend one. It, it really is an experience in itself. I hope so too. Imagine how I feel because the one in New York is coming on June. <laughs> Thank you, Kevin. Yeah. All right. You want to choose the next one, Andrew? Yeah, sure. Okay. We see. Oh, there's more hands. Uh, let's go for Amy. Oh, it's your favorite character. <laughs> oh. Hi. Hi. I I actually have um a few questions. Uh, for one, it's it, it's only sorry, it's only one per person. Okay. Uh, yeah. Are yeah. there ships that you enjoy besides uh, Son Amy? Yeah, I really like um Silver and Blaze. I really like uh Shadow and Tikal. I like Knuckles and Rouge. Sometimes Shadow and Rouge, depending on the execution of it. I really like Tails and Cosmo. Uh. I also really like uh, Blaze and Amy sometimes, depending on the execution again. And what other ship? I'm pretty sure there's another ship that I really like, but I forgot the name. Ugh. Yeah, if that's like the ones I can think in my head, but like, it really is like all other ships I also find enjoyable. It just like, depends on the execution, because I think like the ones I mentioned are my favorite. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for the oh, question. Oh. Thank, Thank you for you. your question, Amy. Thank you. All right, let's choose the next one, which is going to be, come right up, Macro. I, I hope I said it right. Hello. Hi. 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 Hello. Yeah. <laughs> hi, hi. I had a question for, uh, well, actually, all of you. What is your favorite video game? Oh, my oh. God. Don't do this to me. Yes, <laughs> yes we're doing this. Huh. Okay. It can be. That's a like from Sonic specifically or any franchise? Yes, yes, from Sonic specifically. Oh, okay. Sonic Unleashed all the way. I, I really like Sonic <laughs> Unleashed and Black. I like Sonic Unleashed and like Sonic Unleashed because it's the one that I like, experienced 100%. If I had to choose like just based on one criteria, which is story, I'd say both Sonic Unleashed and Black Knight. But yeah, uh, I'd oh. say Sonic Unleashed is the one I would like go for. That's my favorite game of all time. Yeah. <laughs> As for me, oh my god, this is hard because I like all of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fair. <laughs> but if if I were to go with the one that actually impacted me the most is Sonic Frontiers so far. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can get you with that. <laughs> yeah. What about you, Andrew? Uh, well, I'm, I'm quite the classic guy because um, I, I was raised with the classics. But my favorite Sonic game and also my favorite game of all time is Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Yes, yes. The the best one in the oh, trilogy. Yeah. I'm with you. <laughs> yeah, this one in the trilogy. <laughs> Sonic 3 and Knuckles was the first game that I played, honestly. So it like it left like a, a place in my heart. Yeah. It's like the best of of yeah, almost yeah. almost the best in all the series. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you for the question. Thank you for your question, Thank Macro. You. All right. You want to choose the next one, Andrew? Yeah, sure. Uh, how many hands we got? Uh, one, two, three, four. Oh, quite a lot. Uh, let's go for Ryan. The I can't say the full name. Ryan the Henrik, I guess. Something. <laughs> Henrik. <laughs> really nice name. <laughs> if Ryan is there, Ryan, please come up. <laughs> It's okay, we don't bite. We have cookies in here, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, I, I bake cookies. Yay! Maybe they didn't get Maybe like the, uh, accept, accept uh, a button or something. You should be able to... Uh, yeah, they left. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Okay, choose, choose I'll, I'll pick someone else. Yeah. I'm going to pick Sonic Does. I can't read the full name, it just says Sonic Does on my end. <laughs> oh, Sonic Does VA. There we go. Hello. Oh, hold on. Give me one second. Sorry. It's okay. Take your time. My audio is being weird. Sorry. Mm -hmm. uh oh. Are Are you able to see to see the screen? Like. Uh yeah, but like, 
my audio is being weird. Can can you can I just rejoin it? Is that okay? We can like uh, choose another person, and then you can raise your hand in the next one. Okay. Wait, hold up. Oh, okay. I know what I'm doing wrong. Okay, sorry. Hold on. It's okay. Take your time. Okay. Okay, I think I fixed it. Can you uh, can you hear me pretty clear? Right. Or? Yeah, we, yeah, we can hear you. Good. Very clear. All right. Well, hello. My name is. Uh, Hi. Well, you can. I guess you could just call me Sonic, but my name is Mordecai. So hello. Uh, nice to meet you. My question. My question is is um, so. Do you guys want to hear some characters I voice act for the Sonic community? Uh, we actually only allow questions, guys. We yeah, don't qu- play questions, on questions, the panels. Not, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This isn't a demonstration <laughs> thing. <laughs> Uh, I'm um, sorry, let's someone me. else. Um, let's go for L- Lexa, Lexa, Luna, Lexa. Lexa. <laughs> Hi. Is the, is, the sh- is the shadow oh, number hi. one fan? <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, oh. I know this. <laughs> oh, okay. I see how it is. Okay, so. Uh, <laughs> Emmy, <laughs> Emmy, hi. Yeah. yeah. Uh, hi. My question. Question would be, uh, if you were to write for the next Sonic game, what would you, like, mm-hmm. you know, uh, what would you write about the story and all that? Oh, this is a really good question. Um, I, I would honestly go with, like, a few plot points that I had when I was a child, because, like, like you know, like, those type of moments where you would have, like, a really cool story and be, and people would be like, where did you come up with this? And be like, it came to me in a dream. That's the type of oh, question, yeah. that story I would, like, write for the next game. Um, if I had to choose one, I'd say uh, like a story that kind of like explains the origin of the Master Emerald, kind of like um something like that's close to yeah. Frontiers, and and it takes like inspiration from Sonic X se- season three with like an uh, like another oh, yeah. alien um alien race or the Metarex themselves, either one, and they come like invading the planet and whatnot or something like that or free or retrieving the Master Emerald, then the Master Emerald would have like a link with that like alien race. And you'd say that they're so strong, they're probably either on par or, like, above the end itself. You never know. So it's, like, this, like, mm-hmm. stakes of the world type of story. And it'd have, like, the entire cast being, like, like the end of the world 06. If it was, like, oh, done right. Yeah. right. <laughs> and, like, a, like, a story with high stakes. Like, the whole cast is involved. It was a more, like, a serious story. Definitely more inspired of, like, the early, uh, early with high, high stakes. Like I can summarize it. Something that has to do with the Max Reynolds mainly. A lot of that. Not gonna <laughs> lie. If it was a game, I'd play it all day. Oh my goodness, thank you. I'm yeah. following Chinchi's rule. Emmy for Sega. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's all. Uh, thank you. Thank you for your question, Shadow Lover number one. <laughs> hey. <laughs> What's your oh, self yeah. after the q and A? I'm coming for you. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, Lizer. And then we never hear from Cookie again. <laughs> well, that that I that was my legacy. I think. <laughs> All right. Let's choose the next person. Let's see. Meanie, miney, Zizel. Oh my God. I hope I said it right. Come right up. Did I, did I say it right? Hi. Hello. Hi, did I say your name right? Zexel. Oh, Zexel. Oh, Zexel. Okay. All right. Zexel. Thank you. Uh, hello. Hello. Um, I have a Hi. question for all of you. Um, mm-hmm. It's always just like watching a Sonic show while seeing this. Um, what's your favorite like Sonic like, animated show? Anything? Um, I'd say my favorite is Sonic X all the way. Maybe I'm like a huge like I'm a huge oh, yeah, dork. I was, I was just watching that. <laughs> yeah, I'm a huge fan of it because it's like it's the one that I watched since I was a kid. Pretty much the thing that did introduce me to Sonic to begin with, and uh, it just like left a huge impact on me. I definitely say season three was my highlight of the entire thing. Um, yeah, so, so I was like Sonic X. Watching <laughs> I should do that too. I've... Yeah, it's the first time you're watching it since. You know, I kind of didn't watch it back then, but I still need to like it now. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, 
Yeah, that was, that was my question. So, um, Ooh, thanks for your question. Thanks for your question. Thank you. Hi. Bye. Bye. Okie dokie, Andrew. Can you, you want to choose the next person? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Oh, Ryan returned. So, should I go for Ryan again? <laughs> I mean, we can try again. Let's see if at this time Discord is not, right, you know, doing let's the thing. Happens. There we go. Hey. Oh, sorry, I wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> oh, no. no. It's Welcome okay. to the panel. I got a question mm-hmm. for Emmy. Like, yep. how long have you been doing art? Uh, just I, wouldn't, I wouldn't exactly have an exact number. I'd say around... Uh, definitely like uh, since 20, 2013, 2012, something around that time. I'm pretty sure it's like when I first got into Sonic. It was like back then when like those uh, Sonic Recolor, Sonic X Recolors videos were on YouTube and they were like the norm. That was like the thing that got me into Sonic Art. That was like the first type of Sonic Art I've even did. So I'd say like it was around that time, definitely like like a decade ago. Or so so I'd say like over ten years and so. That's how long I've been doing Sonic Art for. All right, I do Sonic Art, but I sometimes do non-Sonic stuff. Like I tend to be Jenny Walkman from My Life as Teenage Robot. I did Bluey, Guitar Hero ideas, and more. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely like uh. But if I were to summarize it, it definitely was around the time where I think those early DeviantArt days. I'm a, <laughs> I'm a grandma. Okay. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for your question. Yeah, it's nice. Thank you for your question, Enjoy. Ryan. No problem, Cookie. You too, Andrew and Nanny. Have a great time. Yes, yes well, you thank too. you. Oh, okay. So how about this one? Emmy, you want to choose the next one? Hey, um. Hmm. I'd like for Anima to come in since this is a friend of mine. Oh, sure. Absolutely. Come right up, Anima. Hello. Hello. Oh, how's it going? It's great. Hi, welcome. Cool. Cool. Uh, nice to meet you in person with your voice. Uh, this, <laughs> uh, would be, uh, you know, we know, um, I know Cookie and Emmy, you go, you double into writing. Sometimes a lot, sometimes a lot. But um, since Sonic's world is like a lot of characters, a lot of places, my question is: if there was a what if TV show, what would you mm-hmm. want to see? Like, uh, like when you say that, like, uh, uh, like from a different world for Sonic. Uh, when you say like a what like, if? Yeah, like uh, what if uh, Shadow was uh, Shadow emerged like fifty or twenty-five years later or something like that oh like a concept like that okay yeah um this I'd is for, like, for anyone to answer but like, uh, I, I, sorry it's okay i'd say like a what if like a good what if i could think of something for silver mainly because silver is like the potential hedgehog i'd say like a show that's like mm-hmm. um mm-hmm. it's like a what if like, the feudal was never fixed since 06. Like, what if it just, like, stayed the way it is? How would, like, that impact Silver? Just knowing that, like, even after everything in the events of 06, something, like, the things just did not change. The feudal is still in ruins. So there's something in, like, the timeline or history of Sonic that's, like, like the, the catalyst that's just keeping the timeline, like, destroyed. Like, no matter what he changes, the timeline is going to end up, like, in ruins uh, 200 years later. Just like this whole show where Silver's like traveling through time through different periods trying to just figure out what this one thing that ruined the future is and he's just like constantly trying to find it. That sounds so cool actually. Like I'd watch that. I'd watch the hell out of that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, uh, that was my that was my question. It was nice to meet you. Yeah. Nice to meet you too. Thank you for your question, Anima. No problem. Alrighty. Let's see. I think it was my turn. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'll choose the red spike. Come right up. Hello. Oh Hi. my god, it's, Hello. Bo- it's SpongeBob. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hi, what Red. How are you? I'm doing good, Cookie. Hello, Emmy. Hi. Ready. Uh, so I just wanted to say, Emmy, uh, that I remember like when I first started Twitter, you were one of the first ever like artists I ever followed. And thanks to you, I was able to like 
discover about the many other like great like uh other like sonic artists and such so uh, i really appreciate you for that well oh, thank you i'm glad <laughs> all righty uh my question is what is mostly like your main inspiration for your art good question say like definitely Ilkawa's or uh, like official art or like the early sonic adventure art because i'm trying to go for like that flexibility and fluidity for it uh there's also uh, adam, adam hammerstone a uh, hammer <laughs> Well, an artist from IDW, I probably didn't say his name right. Um, yeah. Also, there's like a lot of uh, other artists around the Sonic community that I keep getting inspiration from, like uh, Corn Art 3, Chinchilla, Kohane, back when she was around. Um, who else? There's like a, a lot of them. Miju. There's like a, definitely like a lot of artists that I get inspiration from. It's just like... And they, like any artists around the Sonic community, like whenever I see artists and they, like I retweet their stuff, it means that like there's someone I genuinely like, like not only like their content, but also like strive to like find inspiration from them. I'd say Hyun lately has been like a huge inspiration as well because I'm trying to learn like piece composition from them. But yeah, if I had to summarize it, I'd say like uh, Ilkawa and Adam for like official artists and um, like a lot of fan artists in the community as well yeah uh yuakawa definitely my favorite as well mm -hmm. i have like a sticker here of yuakawa's art it's really awesome and also i like evan I stanley's art too yeah those two artists <laughs> are like really my favorite in the community official wise mm -hmm. right, so yeah thanks for answering my question yeah thanks for your question Brad. thank you right. see ya later see ya. Okie dokie, Andrew, it's your turn. Yes, it is. Uh, oh, I've got three hands. Oh, three to pick. Um, ooh. I smell somebody raising their hand that we know. <laughs> yes. I'm going to choose Chinchilla. Yay, my bestie. <laughs> I, I smell uh -huh. another Sanami Queen. Coming into the audience <laughs> in the chat now. Hi, Misty. Hi, Hi, Cookie. Hi, <laughs> Okay, so obvious question. Um, what made you get into Sonic? Uh, definitely the Sonic X like uh, music videos back in the day. Those were the thing. Okay, fun story about how I got into Sonic. Me actually. When I first like watched Sonic X, I definitely thought that Sonic and Amy were siblings. I don't know why I thought that. I think it's because they both had green eyes and both were hedgehogs. So I was like, oh, yeah, they're, they're like, they're really cute siblings. So I, over the time when I was like looking at uh, Sonic X music videos, I was like, why are they using like romantic songs for siblings? So I looked it up on Google and I was like, oh, they're not siblings. OK, so then I started like going down this rabbit hole of watching like Sonic, the uh, Son Amy music videos. And I was like, oh, wait, these two are adorable, actually. And it was a rabbit hole from there. I've been stuck with these two hedgehogs for 10 years. This is a call for help. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much I'm, it. I have time. I have <laughs> I can yeah, confirm they have that. Yeah, so I can confirm that Sonami is actually a disease that we cannot take off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Live in my head rent free. Yeah. <laughs> they need to start paying rent, honestly. <laughs> Alrighty, thanks for Thank your question, you. Chin Chi. Thank you. Okie dokie. Right. Emmy, I, I, you want to choose the next one? Yeah. Uh, d uh, oh my goodness, this is going to embarrass myself. Do do an amateur uh, 108. Oh, you're a wait, mater? Wait. Do, do a mater? Do a mater, yeah. <laughs> Come right up. You're being chosen. Like I feel like Tails in like those takeovers where he couldn't say Dave's right. Oh no, <laughs> I felt that one. <laughs> no, it's, um, no, it's okay. Hello. I mean, hi. Hello. 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 Oh, by the way, uh, you don't have to worry about saying my name wrong. I mean, it's happened to many people. You just call me a uh, Zero for short. Okay, okay. thank you. <laughs> so, um, my question is for like Emmy, what's who's your mm -hmm. favorite singer from like the Sonic franchise? Singer, uh, I think like definitely the entirety of Crush Forty. They're just the, they're just the classic. They they're the ones yeah. they grew up with. But I'd say it's also began to like uh, 
the Killen as much as well. Is it Killen or yeah. Killen? Because, like, of course, yeah. they had, like, a, he did, like, the phenomenal job in, like, Frontiers, obviously. So he's also, like, yeah. one of the favorites. But definitely Crush 40 all the way. Definitely, like, the, the, big, the big favorite. Because, yeah, like, um, they, they made some of my favorite songs, like uh, Night of the Wind and uh, Live and Learn, which has been listening to a lot lately. So I'd say, like, I have a bias towards Crush 40. All right. Glad to know that. <laughs> thank, thank you for your question. <laughs> Thanks for your question. Thanks for your question. All right, okay. next person. I think it was me. Yes, it is. Yeah, your choice. Uh, yeah, it's my choice. <laughs> All right, let's go. I see Tailsco. Come right up. Hi, Tailsco. Hi, Hello. Hmm. Hi there. Hello. Hi there. Hmm. Okay, I do have a question. What is your favorite Sonic character? <laughs> Definitely Sonic and Amy. Because they're not like not just for like the fact that they're fun to draw, but like I also really love the two of them a lot. Specifically, their portrayals in like uh, the early twenties. Because well, I don't know. I just I feel like I'm drawn to Amy as a character because she like, reminds me a lot of myself. We're both like hopeless romantics and stuff. And I like I really like her cutesy personality. I like that she doesn't shy away from showing her feelings, and that she's like also really strong. I really like the fact that she stands up for what's right also has like the comedic factor of, for her when she gets mad and you know it's like it's just really like seeing such an energetic character just like she's just a comfort she's like such a delight um i think another thing i like about sonic is uh the fact that he's just like he just does not care what other people think of him he just does what he thinks is right regardless of what others think and i really like that it's not like your traditional hero because even he doesn't think of himself as a hero. He just does what he feels is right. And I really like that about him. Because you can be like, oh, he, he has to save the world. He is the hero of the story. But even Sonic himself, like, do himself as a hero. He kind of loves adventure. And it's just like such a unique take. A heroic character. They're not bound by the titles. It's like, but yeah, Sonic and Amy, definitely. Oh, no. They would had a... Oh, I don't want to say it. Huh? I really... What? I don't hear tales go. What? I'm, I'm here. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> I legit was going to say the very word that we're not supposed to say, but yeah. <laughs> Thank you for your question, Telsco. It's really good. Thanks for your question, Telsco. Yeah, yeah, thanks for your good. question. No problem. Back into the audience. The Shadow Realm. <laughs> the Shadow All right. Realm. All right, Andrew. You want to choose the next person? Oh, cool. Uh, well, there's only one hand. Uh, Revan? Revan? I think I'm pronouncing it wrong. Revan? Revan? Come on up. Yeah. It is pronounced Revan. Ah. You got to read the first time. Brilliant. <laughs> actually, I actually, actually, have, actually have two questions. Uh, only one question per person. Sorry. Okay. If you want, when when you ask this question, you can raise your hand again, and we choose you the next time. Okay. 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 So I'll, 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 I'll just ask only one question. Okay. This question. This question is for this question is for all three of you. Uh -huh. Like we we do know that Sonic like he's like he's like like around like, around like thirty years old and like like the. Like, like the character, like they're like around thirty, blah blah. Man. Like, 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 like throughout, like, like throughout all the games that I've ever been in. My question, my question is, what is your favorite song from each one of those games? Ooh. Uh, it keeps changing for me because, like, if you were to ask me this question any day of the week, I'd like give you a different answer. Because uh, mm -hmm. the other day, it was definitely I'm here revisited. Uh, lately, it's been a live and learn, specifically the symphony version. Mm. It just keeps changing mm. for me because, like, like I really like all the songs. That like my favorite depends on which day it is. Mm -hmm. What about you? What about you, host? I mean, <laughs> oh my god! Is can I say everything? I, I like all the songs. Can, mm. can I say that? <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I, 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 I mean I, the I, one. I, I mean the one that, that actually has been. Uh, like the most 
Oh my God. People will say that I'm a frontier stand, but <laughs> uh, vandalize and mm. under, like the, the one from the final horizon. Yeah. Mm. That one. And you, Andrew? Mm-hmm. Uh, to be fair, I do like them all, but I do love the classic live and learn. So, mm-hmm. yeah, live and learn all the way. Me, me back, back, yeah, back, when I was a, yeah, back when I was a kid, I was a huge fan of Sonic Unleashed. <laughs> yeah, you're very like, funny. Like, songs from Sonic are so good. Yeah, like for me, like my, favorite, my favorite song from the whole history of Sonic, it was, it, like my favorite song was always Endless possibility. <laughs> I like song. it. It's one of the good songs. Mm-hmm. Like, it's like the one song. It's like, it's like the one song. It's like it's it's always the one song from Sonic that I always listen to when I feel like listen to Sonic. <laughs> if I were to like add to my answer, I'd say like well, well like I like I really like a lot of vocal songs, but if I had to choose a non-vocal, it's definitely Second Wind. Second Wind like won my mm. heart instantly the moment I heard it. Oh my it's god, second. yeah, second one is amazing. I mm. really have it on my ringtone. That, it's how, that's how much I like it. Same. <laughs> I, might, I, might, I might listen to it more than <laughs> Thank well, you for your thank question. You for your question. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. All righty. Emmy, you want to choose the next person? Well, there's one hand I've seen in the audience, and it's my friend Hart, so. Can we? Oh. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Come right up, Hart. Hi, Hi Hart. Bestie. Hi. Um, I have a question. Mm-hmm. It's kind of silly, but you've been an artist for um, several years. Do you have an art piece that you've made that you just go, wow, I made that? How could that be? Um, let's say like the ones that I made uh, in 2023. Uh, specifically... My Sonic Frontiers pieces, like both of them for Sonic Super Sonic 2, and uh, that one piece for Dream Team. I look at these and I go, wow, I, I went hard for those. But I can't think of like another piece like throughout my entire career there to look at and be like, wow, I made that. Like, I'd say like those, the ones I mentioned now are the ones that like I really made and I was like, wow, I did great. Those were I truly peaks. <laughs> I wonder if I can screen sh- uh, screen share actually and show them to people, Absolutely. or like is there any way I can post them? Oh, you can post it on the discussion chat. I'm gonna tag you so you can find it faster, real quick. Yeah. Right. right that's my question. I'll be banished to the <laughs> shadow realm now. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. I'll die in the shadow realm. Thank you, Art. Um, let me just shadow realm. <laughs> right. I mean, if you can find it, you can always send it to me or Andrew, and we can share it for you. That's totally okay. I found it. I found it. Yeah. I okay. Found it. Okay. <laughs> I'm just waiting for a send out because, like, Discord is slow with these type of files. Yeah. I don't want to say the forbidden words, but you know. <laughs> I think I know. <laughs> oh, it loads a bit. Um, I think there's someone else in the audience. Well, like two, my bad. Oops. <laughs> oh, yes, there's three more hands. So, like, we, you want to continue with the question while it uploads? So, yep. Yeah. All right. Absolutely. So, let's choose Bonbon. He's got knuckles. Is that, is that <laughs> like Knuckles the Echidna? Hey, hey knock, knock his knuckles. <laughs> oh, my God. He chuckles? Does he chuckles? <laughs> yeah. Oh, he chuckles. Hello. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> Hello. Uh, before I see my question, I just want to say um, I love your art, uh, Emmy. I love it so much. You're one of my favorite inspirations. And as for my question, necessarily, it doesn't necessarily have to be for Emmys for everyone. What is your favorite uh, Sonic gameplay? Like classic 2D, adventure, uh, the boost formula, anyone? Rush. That's what really Sonic Rush play. That's definitely my favorite because it's like it's a quick mix of. My other favorite, uh, my other two favorite, like gameplay styles, like Boost Formula and like the Adventure style. So I really like the gameplay of Rush, and I really and it's like also kind of like the classic formula. Now that I think about, it. anyway, uh, I actually like the way that Rush handles both the Boost and the and the like the Adventure type of gameplay. 
So I'd say if there was, if they could execute Sonic Rush, or at least like something like Sonic Rush in a 3D setting, like Frontiers or something, that would definitely be like the best gameplay out there, at least for me. Mm. As for me, oh my god, it would be the boost one, and and the 2D classics, because um, I like the classics too. I would just say like, uh, classics and adventure. Yeah, the adventure one's like really good. Yeah. I, I personally prefer the adventure one with the whole momentum physics. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, thanks for your thank question. You so much for your question, question Bon Bon. Right, thank you for having me. Okie dokie. Andrew, you want to choose the next person? Oh, I believe it's Emmy. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'd say Symbiote Blade. <laughs> okay, I see Anima on, on the hand speaking. Come right up. Uh, hello, Hi again, uh, Anima. What's going on? Um, so another question just came to mind quickly was uh, there's a lot of like really cool moments in each Sonic game. My question, mm-hmm. and this is for, for all three of you, uh, what is your favorite moment of any Sonic game, be it through the story or the characterization? And if you could alter it to make it even better, how would you do that? Hmm. Uh, that's not like a hard question because like there's a lot of cool moments that I like think about all the time. I'd honestly have to say, uh, uh, I'd say like the Unleashed one, because I really like the like the little final like final battle and then the entirety of Unleashed and stuff. And uh, there's also like Black Knight, of course, like the the whole build up from like the the fight of like the final boss until the end of it, especially like the ending. Um, and honestly, as weird as this sounds. I really like the ending of um, Sonic 06, well, like the build-up from like the ending to like the, you know, from like the final boss to the ending. I had to make those better, like the after-mentioned one. I would say, like, um, honestly, I won't say the thing about Unleashed and uh, Black Knight, because I already feel like they handled those pretty well. Maybe Unleashed was like a little bit, uh, like the final part where Sonic uh, tells Chip to run. Maybe have it where he's like fighting that Gaia while he says like tells Chip to run. And he's, like, badly injured and stuff, but honestly, I wouldn't change the original one. If I were to change the 06 one, I would feel like, as weird as this sounds, I would feel like, instead of, like, the whole Elise kiss, I feel like Elise just wishing on the emeralds would be enough. Like, just, like, every, actually, not just her, I feel like everyone just wishing all together at once, like, everyone's, like, just, like, the chaos emeralds are known to turn thoughts into power. I'd say, like, everyone wishing on the emeralds together, not just Elise, would be, like, enough to bring Sonic back to life and would be more impactful. Because, like, then that shows, like, the, sh- the the cast has relevance besides, like, just their abilities and just their fighting because it shows, like, their bond with Sonic as a character. But, yeah, that's, that's all for me. Right, yeah, I totally, totally get that. Like, Sonic 06 and Black Knight, they have really good moments. And honestly, mm-hmm. yeah, like, to be honest, at some points, you don't really see any way to make it better because it's just it's beat mm. yeah but yeah uh that was my question um, unless you two mm. wanted to answer ah, no, um, no, I'm, I'm good <laughs> oh, cool. I'm, I'm fine i think <laughs> yeah cool Still thanks for your question uh, thanks for your question no anima thank you yeah. okay. more friends. i'm pretty sure symbiote blade rose and earlier well, well. yeah you want to ask a question while somebody else um I- I actually, yeah, something's popped to my mind. Has there ever been like something you've drawn and you look back at it and think, I would want to change this now? There, there was definitely a lot of drawings that I wish I could like change. But if I had to choose one, there's this one Son Amy drawing that I made like uh, early 2023, where it's like, I wanted to whole, have a whole thing where Amy is like, Sonic and Amy are in a forest together and they're scared. I mean, not not them. I mean, Amy's scared, and Sonic is like confident. It's like, hey, it's gonna be fine. We'll get through this. So, honestly, that like that, I feel like the composition on that was a little boring, or like, because I feel like if I were to redraw it now, I'd definitely do a lot better. Because it was like definitely due to lack of skill and knowledge back then. I'll try to find uh, upload it right uh, right now, if possible. Where is it? Ah, uh, this one. Because I was it's like one of those spur in the moment moment drawings where I didn't really think all that deep about it. I just kind of like got bored and I was like, I want to draw Sonic and Amy and I didn't really have a, a theme in my mind. So I just drew it ever. I do not hate it. I just oh, wish that I could have like put in more effort or something. Oops, wait, on channel. Oops. 
but yeah, that's pretty much the only drawing that I might like go back to and uh, redo it or fix it. Mm, okay. Oh, mm-hmm. it's I'm going to post it in the discussion channel. I'm taking notes. Don't mind me. <laughs> <laughs> I could go in detail once I, like everyone can see it. I said, okay, I'm just waiting for it to yeah. post. I'm sorry, like I really like to ramble about these type of stuff. Ah. <laughs> huh? No, that's yeah, okay. No Don't worry, you're good. <laughs> All right, I see another hand. So this will be the last oh, sorry, question. Sorry. Already. Oh, go ahead. Mm-hmm. So if I were to like go on detail about it, I'd say like the thing that bothered me the most is definitely like the the way the hands are. Ooh. Hey. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah. Ooh, I can hear anything. <laughs> Hello. Oh yeah, I, uh-huh. we can hear you. Uh, oh you no! Still... Uh, uh, you we, we can hear you. you. Do you check if you accidentally like press the deafen button? Maybe she did. Uh oh. Hold on, guys. We're we're getting her back. Yeah. Ah, uh, whatever. This girl, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Emmy, uh, Emmy, I think you. I think you need to press the green button. That that. Shows that join stage, I think. Yeah. Hello, can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah, yes. we can. <laughs> Technical difficulties hit. Definitely at this score, everyone. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there I said it. <laughs> well, <laughs> all right. So, uh, as you you were saying something before before the whole disconnection thing. Yeah. Oh, wait, I, I, I can't saying... hear anything now. Hand sec. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> this good moment. Wait, let me get Andrew back. There we go. Hello, nice. can you hear me? Now you there we go. Can, yeah, can you hear us now? Yeah, I can hear again. Oh, hey. Uh, <laughs> hey, as I was saying, I was just like quickly explain what I didn't like about that one piece. I said, well, I'd say first of all is the fact that like I wanted them to hold hands differently, but you could you could tell that I didn't know how hand hand holding works. Um, I'd definitely say like the shading kind of was like way too soft because like the like the, the thing that the characters don't fit with the background is what I'm trying to say. Because first of all, I used like a free background because I didn't know how to draw it. But um, for like a dark setting, you'd think the lighting would be a little more dark, but you just, it's just not, and that's why it makes them like feel like they're like in a photo shoot or something. Since uh, I've been trying to improve my art and stuff, so I would say like I would make it, I would make like the atmosphere darker. I'd like try to draw my own background because I know how to at least draw like a lazy background now, and I try to like also change how the hand drawing or hand holding would look. And it definitely make Amy look more fearful, and then definitely fix her hammer because I don't know what happened there. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I would change about that piece. I I personally love it. I'm not gonna. Thank I'm not you. gonna lie to you. <laughs> I think it's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. All right, we see a few hands here, so let's go. I think it was me, right? I think so. Let's yeah. Go with, let's go with Drowsius, the Rocket Boy. Hello. Hey. What's up? Hi, Hello. Rocket. Hello there. How are y'all doing? As of yeah, now, great. Mm-hmm. That's good to hear. Now I do have questions for Miss Emmy right here. Thank you. Um, does it feel like when um have you ever looked at anyone dub your comics? If so, then how do you feel when you watch them and hear people voice acting in your comics or content? I've definitely ran into a lot of people that would like voice act my content and it's like a joy every time. Sometimes I like like them so much that it's like I have to rewatch it three times a day because I just love it that much. I also like really oh. uh, just like especially when they uh, what's the word? Especially when like they get way like into the ca- characters so much that you kind of feel like they're not dubbing the comic, but like the two characters talking genuinely. So like it feels more organic. I definitely love it when people dub my comics. It it's like not just an honor, but it's also nice to see what type of voices people think of when they see my drawings of the characters lately this is a channel that's Ooh. been dubbing my work that's been dubbing my work in like in french and i'm absolutely like not just french. astonished but also overjoyed yeah i know right 
But, like, I can speak a little bit of French, so it's, like, it's a huge surprise just, like, seeing, like, people dub my work in French, and just, like, it's, like, it's a huge honor, honestly. Because I'm, like, I'm glad that my mm-hmm. work is so simple that people from other countries, like, feel that, like, like dubbing it and stuff. It's, I think if I should release, like, um, versions of my art, uh, like, comics or mini comics in, uh, um, other, like, Arabic or French. But, yeah, Ooh. that's pretty much how I feel about it. I really love it when people dub my artwork. Like, chances are, if you dub my comic, I'm going to be like watching that for an entire day. Well, guess what? I'm next. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, no I problem. Can't... And short question for <laughs> Yeah, don't worry. I'll do. I'll dub more comics, or at least as I could. And if you see them, let me know what you think. Okay. okay. And Miss Cookie. Yes. Can I have your cookies? No. Get out of here. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, you can come to my bakery anytime. That's for your question, question, Drasius. All right, I'll get your cookies. No. (laughs) (laughs) What? What's with people stealing my cookies? This is not cool, man. (laughs) Maybe they're tasty cookies. Why? Mm. All right, we're gonna take one more person, I believe, because we're already out of time. <laughs> okay, so you want to choose the next person, Andrew? It's your turn, I think. Um, I think it's the Amy Emmy pick. All right, so Emmy, you want to choose the last person? There's a person here that's been raising their hand for a bit now, and I've had my eyes on them. Uh, there's it's like they don't have their hands raised now, but. Uh, Symbiote Blade, if you'd really love to, like, raise your hand so you could, like, come in. Because I've seen you raise your hand, like, five times now. And I want to, like, give you that chance. Hey! Oh, the, oh, the Blade one? Yeah, there we go. Yeah. There we go. Hello! Hello! Hello there! Hi! Can you hear us? We, we can hear you. Slightly. It's very quiet. Yeah. Thank you. Really? <laughs> Oh, I'm very you. muffled, but sort of. <laughs> if, can, you, we can guess the if, you, if you if you want, you can always write your question in the discussion chat, and we can like write um read it for you. Yeah, you can, you can do that. Yeah. All right, or they can always try again with the racing hand thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. In the meantime, we can choose a next one to compensate. So, yeah, how about the red spike again? You have returned. Hello. Hello. Hello again. I came back and I got a bag of chips. Alrighty. <laughs> oh, thank I you. S- For me? <laughs> no. <laughs> actually, <laughs> actually, 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 Cookie, I got some Mario Oreos. How dare you? Oh. There's only two left. And guess what? Oh. They're the Bowser one. I oh ate the God. Mario ones. No! Because <laughs> Bowser is better. Oh, no. Not again. <laughs> hey. uh, what would be your question, Brad? All right. Um, my question is, what do you mostly enjoy about Sonic and Amy's, like, chemistry and such? And, like, <laughs> what's one thing you hope to see more of? Concerning I've, been the two. For this, I've been waiting for this question for a while. To I knew me. somebody was going to ask me. <laughs> All right. Um, I'll try not to like ramble about it too much because I know we're like almost out of time. Um, I would say like the whole thing I like about their dynamic is the fact that like um, it's different from like any other ship you'd see. Because like when you also see like those these type of ships, you don't like ships, less ships. <laughs> Um, when you see like these type of pairings, you'd always think like um the guy would have his eyes on the girl. Like some like like Mario and Peach basically, or like Minnie and uh, Mickey. You see these type of things would be like oh like yeah, uh, Sonic would definitely be like on pine for Amy and somewhat and whatnot. But it's not that; it's the other way around. It is crazy like this comedic like uh dynamic that they have, where it's like Amy is trying so hard to win this man's attention, and he's just like either he's like not interested either he's just like awkward with romance or just not interested in romance in general but you can tell like you can tell subtly that he does like her uh at least in, like in some continuities or in um definitely 
like later games where like it's like it's, it's between the lines you can tell that he likes her he just like doesn't like the whole idea of romance and like well, not being tied down but also like the traditional romance and that like introduced a whole different dynamic because even amy like doesn't like the whole as at least now she doesn't like the whole traditional mm-hmm. dynamic uh traditional romance uh, and everything Nothing basic but, really but like you know, like early, in the early twenties, she'd be like teasing him about dates and stuff. But then again, you'd see her like going out of her way to chase him, rather than like trying to get him to go on a date and whatnot. So you can tell that whether she yeah. gets like her dream fantasy of like a romantic relationship or you know, just like chasing Sonic, she just like she enjoys either way. She enjoys the adventurous days as much as she enjoys like the more romantic settings. So it's just like they just like they're just compatible for each other. If I had to describe it. They're just like they're unique. They're really compatible for each other, and um, it's like it's just like they're just huge dorks, especially with like the comedic effect it has to it. But I'd say it's also the fact that Sonic really cares for her, and it's like a subtle in between the lines. Because like for example, in uh, Sonic Rider Zero Gravity, you can definitely tell that he gets like really angry at Jet when he starts yelling at Amy. Because, like, if it wasn't for the fact that, you know, he was more concerned with everything else that was going around, he would have definitely walked up to Jet for that. Because his facial expressions were, like, showing mm-hmm. that he was getting offended. So you could tell that, like, they have, like, this mutual respect and love for each other, but rather than, like, being your typical romantic uh, bond or whatever, they're just, like, free. That's just how it is. Like, they're just free. They're not bound by anything. I think that's really cool. Yeah. Uh, I actually used to hate saw Amy like a long time when I was young but like I got to slowly have that understanding too like of yours like growing up so really I think their uh, chemistry too is like really fun and like unique in a way that's like no other couple in like media and such yeah it's just like so, it's yeah. so fun it's so fun that I honestly don't mind the fact we waited for 30 years for these two idiots to kiss and they still haven't kissed mm-hmm. yet. <laughs> I'm willing yeah, to wait. Fun. Yeah, I'm willing yeah. to wait until I'm a grandma. Good Me things too. happens to those who wait. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Time yeah. Out of war. <laughs> Ready. And, uh, yeah. and uh, I wanted to say I really like your profile picture. <laughs> Thank you. It was drawn it was by... by uh, yeah, it was drawn by Tars in one of her comics. Yeah, she's, she's cool. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, thanks for answering my question. It was awesome of having course. you here, Emmy. Thank you. Really. Thanks for your question, Red. Now I'm gonna eat your uh more Oreos or whatever they're called. Yummy. Oreos. <laughs> oh, enjoy I mean, your Mario's. I mean, I mean, let's be let's be real for a second, Emmy. If Mario and Peach are taking like almost forty years to kiss. Imagine so Amy. <laughs> which is it, which is it, they're more shy, so Yeah. Well Sonic is. Sonic is Emmy no. Emmy Emmy's more open about her feelings. So Yeah. The whole thing is I with honestly, Sonic. I honestly like to think that uh honestly this may maybe just me, but I'm not like someone who's too big on the whole Sonic is shy like concept. And that's like that's the very much the door that everyone else sees, and I do like it. I just like me personally, I think that Sonic is just really chill. He's just not interested in romance, but he definitely definitely is interested in Amy. Yeah, I think he's yeah. such a he's such a busy hedgehog saving the world. He doesn't have time for relationships. <laughs> Maybe when he's older, he's definitely yeah. the type to like think about it when he's older. But right now, he's just like he's just Sonic. Yeah, <laughs> I mean it's Sonic. Of course, it's gonna be like I'm too cool for romance. But I try. <laughs> <laughs> he tried his best. Yeah. Okay, so I believe that will be all for now. You want to say the, the next panels that we're having, Andrew? Uh, yes, the next panel is uh, on February 10th, which is, yeah, tomorrow. Well, hey, at uh, 8 p.m. East Standard Time. Uh, it's Crossbreak Studios, Sonic Quest for Harmony, Q&A. Exciting stuff. Yes, uh, please tune into that. That's the next panel. Yeah. And of course, there's also dating advice with Sonic and Knuckles coming up uh, on um, yeah February 15th. So that should also be a lot of fun. 
I believe uh, Leah wants to speak about the cartoon, the next cartoon nights coming right up. Yes, of course. Yeah, we're just waiting for Leah to come. Ah, oh. here she is. Hi, hello. Ah, uh, yes. Um, later today. Um, we are still conducting cartoon nights, but it is rebranded as Eggman's Cartoon Nights. Unfortunately. <laughs> Um, oh no! Yeah, Eggman he, took over. He the took over. Too? He took over Cartoon Nights as well, and he. Oh no! He is pretty much keeping a watchful eye on us on that. So, <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. it's re it's really unfortunate he rebranded it, and he yeah he's he's keeping close tabs and keeping watchful eyes on us. But we would but. But at least I would say the good thing is it's audience requests. So at least that's a good thing. <laughs> um, I, I, I hope I hope whatever he's recording on us right now, it doesn't take it an advantage. Just yeah. hoping for the best. <laughs> yeah, he yes. kidnapped me. That's why I even showed up in this panel to begin with. <laughs> he held me at gunpoint. Mm -hmm. Oh no! <laughs> um, if Sage is if Sage is looking at this, hi Sage. Hope hi, you're doing Sage. good. <laughs> I swear um, I didn't switch stage. <laughs> um, but the pre-show will start at 3.30 p.m. PT, 6.30 p.m. ET, and Cartoon Nights itself, well, Eggman's Cartoon Nights, a.k.a., um, starts at 4 p.m. PT, 7 p.m. ET. Yeah, we're, like, I, I don't know, how, we're, we're still trying to regain control of the server <laughs> at this time. <laughs> Hopefully you win. Mm -hmm. Uh, I hope I, I hope he doesn't know about my secret stash of cookies. Well, dang it! I just said it. Uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> well, now everybody knows my secret. I, I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna see my stash of cookies next morning. So, uh, suit yourself, everybody. <laughs> well, you wanna say something, Emmy, before we officially? close the panel um i would like to say thank you to everyone who asked their questions i honestly did not expect so many people to show up or like so many meaningful questions and i'm sorry that i rambled a lot <laughs> i'm just a really rambly person i just like to talk a lot but thank you so much everyone for your questions and uh i know this has been it's been a huge opportunity and I cannot wait for like to be a part of future events, like and like tune in from from now on, because this has genuinely been such an ex uh, enjoyable experience and whatnot. And uh, I'm also grateful to the people who do like my work, and I cannot wait to share more with you, because I'm not sure if you like some of you know, but um, a friend of mine and the anima and I are like working on Sonic Fragments, which is going to be like a rewrite of Sonic Prime. And we're almost done with the brainstorming stage, and I cannot wait to share that with everyone, if that's okay. <laughs> Ooh. Absolutely. Exciting. Yeah. Please do more Sonami. I enjoy those. I, will. I really will. It'll probably be a side project. I'll probably do a side project with like Sonami comics at some point, but my, my main focus is right now is like more on storytelling. But I promise I'll do more Sonami. I miss them too. Yes! <laughs> yeah, because I'm also because awesome. I'm also like part of another project, which uh, is Project Sun Amy Sense of Fate. I'm pretty sure you've heard about it, and we're still cooking. So I hope like whenever it comes out, you guys like what we've been making so far. So there is always going to be more Sun Amy. I promise. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, awesome. that's all I have to say. Amazing. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, thanks well, for coming in here. And yeah. thank you, Andrew, for being my partner in crime in this one. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're welcome. <laughs> and thank you, everybody, for tuning in. And as I was always say, um, please don't steal my cookies. That's not okay, please. <laughs> you can always come Bye, to everybody. Bye. See ya. <laughs>